Hi everyone, welcome to another short SpaceX update video. Right now, everyone is so hyped about the Starship orbital flight. More and more teasers are coming out on the internet hinting that the launch is imminent. Elon Musk just shared a video of yesterday's stacking of S24 with the caption, Starship preparing for launch. He didn't mention anything about the launch date nor he responded to anyone asking for it. The launch date is very much in discussion everywhere. As discussed in my last video, I think a launch attempt on April 10th is highly unlikely because the FAA license is not ready yet, but I have no idea if a rocket can be launched on the same day the license is granted. If anyone of you knows, please comment below. The newly speculated launch date is on the 17th. T plus 33 seconds. Starship test vehicle number 11 ascending over Starbase in South Texas. Do you recognize this voice? I'm sure you do. The legendary and all-time fan favorite SpaceX webcast host. We've also heard the call out the propulsion continues to be normal. The inventor of the word, normal, the principal integration engineer at SpaceX, John Insprucker confirms he will host the Starship Orbital Flight Test webcast. Enhancing the buzz, the experienced commentator said in a tweet that he is working on webcast rehearsals for the first test flight of Starship. We no longer see John on routine launches, but SpaceX definitely knows who should be given the mic for such a historic event. The last time he hosted a launch was back in June 2021 for the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 4 mission. Before that, he hosted the Starship flight tests of SN9, SN10, SN11, and SN15. And he will host the most epic and the most important flight of any rockets in the history of space flights. Indeed, I couldn't think of anyone who is a more fitting candidate to host such big events with due respect to all other amazing webcast hosts. And again, we've just got to work on that landing a little bit. Later today, just after midnight, SpaceX will attempt to launch its 23rd mission of the year. Intelsat IS-40 mission is scheduled to launch at 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time from SLC-40 at Cape. Before I end the video, here is a quick update on what happened at the International Space Station earlier today. The Russian Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft had to relocate to a new docking port with three astronauts on board. The cruise ship successfully docked to the Pritchell module on the Earth-facing side of the International Space Station at 5.22 a.m. Eastern Time. The relocation was done to make room for the arrival of the uncrewed Roscosmos Progress 84 cargo spacecraft later this year. That is it for now. Thank you once again for watching this video till the end and don't forget to tune into tonight's live stream. Take care. Bye for now.